So you want to buy a drone. Do you know what a drone is? I'm not trying to be a dick here, but a lot of people get confused. In my opinion, there are two kinds of things that get classed into the drone category. Those are the actual drones, the things that can fly themselves with cameras, the kind of thing made by DJI, like the Phantom or the Mavic. Those are drones. Then there's the cheap plastic crap. And I say crap in the most respectful of ways, because these cheap things, usually less than 100 pounds, are a hell of a lot of fun to fly. They can whip around, kids can control them, they often have cameras, but those cameras are always terrible. But they're a great way to start. So you have actual drones, then you have toy quadcopters. Usually, the biggest difference with what classifies a toy and an actual drone is, does it have GPS? Does it have the ability to know where on the planet it is so it can keep itself steady? All the expensive ones, yes, they all have GPS. All the cheap plastic crap, no. With one exception that I'm aware of. It's this. This is the Acme drone with GPS. It's a really clever name. It's a drone with GPS. It's basically a cheap quadcopter. It's plasticky. The, the, you see it's all kind of light. It has quite a poor camera, it's 720p, we'll give it a go, but it has GPS, and I've never reviewed a cheap plastic quad that had that before. That's pretty rare. Now, a lot of toy quads will have an altimeter, basically auto hover. It knows how high it is, so it will go up, and it will stay there, but it doesn't know where on the planet it is. So if a gust of wind blows it, it's gone, and it's going to hit a train, and you're going to get sued by the new government plans to kill people who have drones. But with GPS, the drone not only knows how high it is, but where on the planet it's going. So if a breeze blows it that way, it should correct and come back to the last place you put it. So I really want to test this thing. I'm going to take it outside, not to test how it can fly around or what the camera's like, although we will get a look at that, but just to see if the GPS on the Acme drone with GPS will keep it steady. I'm a little bit nervous. And I do need to go outside for this, and it is freezing cold, so uh, let's do this. Okay, so it is a hell of a lot colder than I actually thought it was. So I appreciate the magic click. Whoosh. Okay, my plan here is very, very simple. I'm going to take the drone up to about three or four meters and leave it there. I'm going to put the controller down and walk away. Then I'm going to point the camera where the drone's flying and film a time lapse over the entire duration of the flight just to see how much it drifts in that space. I am not going to bring it back under control at any point. I will do if it just goes flying over to the, those houses or over towards that stream. I will bring it back. But I'm just going to let it drift in this area. It's windy. It's pretty windy. So, I mean, but that's fair because it's always windy on the planet Earth. So, Acme, this should be a fair test of how stable this drone can keep itself with a wind. Okay, let's switch it on. First of all, wow, that was a flight time of 8 minutes 30 seconds, which is a lot more than I thought this would do. I thought this would be about 5 or 6 minutes. 8 minutes 30 is decent. Secondly, it suddenly got a hell of a lot more windy. <laughs> and I, I genuinely thought that this was about to crash into the stream, but it kept its position. Seriously, I am impressed with this thing. Not once in that 8 and a half minutes did I have to touch the controls to bring this back under control. It stayed roughly in this area. From what I can see, I think it drifted out of camera shot maybe a couple of times. But seriously, the wind has really picked up, but this managed it. So this was really, really impressive. I also took the Acme drone with GPS out for a quick flight before it started to snow, just to get an idea for the handling and the camera. Now the handling is very, very good. 
it's slow and steady but because of the GPS and because of the altimeter it stays exactly where you want it to the camera is awful it's seriously it's worse than I thought it would be I think it's about 720p which is usually pretty decent for this kind of quad but it is bad the lens on there is awful and everything is blurred and flat and just it, 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 it's a bad camera so this is definitely not a photography drone so what is this for who would buy this well if you want to take photos and videos with a drone no and if you want something really really fast like a racing quad no but this, because it's so stable, because it's so reliable and predictable, it's a great way to get younger quad and drone flyers into the hobby. Because you know that it's gonna stay exactly where it should do. And not a lot of other cheap, plasticky drones like this can do that. So I kind of recommend it. Just make sure you know exactly what it is you're after. Mm.